internet or something. We looked up. <laughs> you know, he had made some widely acclaimed documentaries, and I, and I watched a couple of them and was just, uh, you know, blown away, not only at the topic, obviously the topics were amazing, but just at, you know, his level of expertise as an artist and, you know, his dedication to his craft, you know, it was obvious by his documentaries that he was serious about what he did and the stories he told, so we felt comfortable and him telling a story about what mixed martial arts is for real, not necessarily what it's sold as sometimes. So. <laughs> I'm just curious, uh, does the timeline of that fight in Montreal compared to where you are now in your career? Uh, yeah, that, that last fight on the, sh on the movie was about a year ago, it was in June. And I'm actually coming back to Canada. I'm coming to Vancouver in June to fight again for the UFC this time. So it was about a year ago at the end of that time. Uh, this is a question for Dustin. There's just so much of uh, your training seems to be about getting your game face on and ritual. I mean, were there times where you told Michael, no, you just cannot bring the cameras here? And Michael, were there times where you got in there anyway? <laughs> uh, not too many times that, that I, I, you know, I was, the film, he was around for a while, you know, I kind of got used to the camera, I didn't even notice it there anymore. It was just another day at the gym after, you know, a couple months of it. When it first happened, you know, I was kind of shy, I wasn't talking as much, you know, I didn't feel comfortable in front of the camera. But uh, like I said, after a couple months, man, I didn't even notice him. He was, you know, part of the team, he was family by then. It was funny tonight because I was, we went and had food and I was like nervous pacing back and forth and it's like before a fight and I can't imagine what it was like for Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> You're this far away. But, you know, I guess like your, your WEC premiere and we had asked Zufa if we could film that and they said no, they're very you know, careful about their licensing and I'm kind of glad we didn't do that because that's so much pressure, you know, added pressure and, you know, it's, this now at least it has this experience free of all of that, um, but you know definitely it's tough to make a film. Do you get a lot of play at all? Black play? How do you start? I've uh, I fought three times since that last fight uh, on the film. I fought twice in the WC, and I just fought January 1st at UFC 125 at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. And see, really, not really telling you what really happened. What really happened <laughs> is Jose Aldo was supposed to fight the number one contender, Josh Grisby, and on four weeks' notice, they called me, and, um, you know, without saying anything to Dustin, I was like, oh, yes, absolutely, he'll take the fight. <laughs> <laughs> so Dustin fought the number one contender um, on maybe four weeks' notice um, and had never made the cut to 145 in his life. And he destroyed him. <laughs>
to the UFC. You know, I think we're kind of lucky. You know, if you watch the film, it's definitely like a pure rendition. Mike didn't come into the film. Mike and Petra didn't have any preconceived notions of what the film was supposed to be. You know, no skulls and flames and lightning bolts and no douchebaggery. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're we're hardworking, blue collar people. You know, Louisiana. You know, people from down there work hard. You know, you're thankful for what you have, and that's how fighters are. You know, that's how our gym is. It's a community. We're close knit because we have to be. If a hurricane comes through and destroys your friend's house, I mean, they're coming to live at your house. There's no other option. You know? And that's just kind of how our community is, which is very different than many other communities. But that work ethic and that spirit, you know, to dedicate yourself to your dreams. This movie is a lot about the American dream, you know? It's just uh, maybe a little more extreme American dream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was that time maybe for one or two more right there? Uh, how's Albert doing? He's still fighting. Albert, Albert struggles, you know? Albert struggles. But, um, you know, we love him. And as much as Dustin, you know, has got another fight coming up and his career's blowing up and he's, you know, working on him. I'm just as concerned as the other about the other guys in the gym paying their rent, you know, and having jobs and their families. So, you know, that's my job, you know, make sure everybody's okay and you know, Albert's working on himself. So. Oh good, right there. <laughs> Hi, uh, I have a big fan from uh, your time on the Ultimate Fighter. Thanks. I mean, have you seen me fight? I give you up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, absolutely, man. I'm fighting Ed Herman, June 4th, the Ultimate Fighter 13 finale. I'm stoked. You know, I mean, um, I've been away from the fight game for a minute. And, uh, you know, to come back and fight a guy that I really respect, like Ed, you know, I always want to fight guys that bring the fight. You know, we talked about that. You know, Ed's a finisher, and I'm a finisher. And, you know, we're going to get in there and let the cards fall as they may. You know, I'm not running from nothing. He's not either, and, and we're going to do what this sport's meant to do. Put two guys in there and bring a beautiful fight together. You know, we're artists, and we're going to paint a picture, and everybody's going to love seeing it.